Hey guys, this is Emerald Fire. Today I'm going to show you how to teleport any entity to coordinates stored in scoreboard values. This uses a data pack that you can download in the description. To demonstrate, I'll summon an armor stand and I'll set its values in these three objectives, score DP X, Y, and Z. The X value is going to be one, Y is two, and Z is minus two. These values are relative to wherever the coordinate, uh, wherever the command was executed. For this, I'm going to be executing the command as the armor stand at its own position. So every time I run this, it'll teleport it one block in the x direction, two in the y direction, and minus two in the z direction. If I then summon in another armor stand with double the values in the x and z, and run it again, you see he's going to catch up to his friend over there. If you want to use absolute coordinates instead, then all you have to do is position it at 0, 0, 0 instead of at itself. So position 0, 0, 0. Now, if we run this, it's going to teleport it to that same block every single time. This even works for teleporting non-player entities outside of loaded chunks. So if I instead teleport this to 400, which is far enough away that the chunks are not loaded, and I summon an armor stand, then run it. It goes all the way off. And at 460 zero, I've marked the ground with a diamond block. So if we go TP uh, 460 zero, you can see, here's this. That armor stand was up in the air and it dropped down because it was teleported to Y up in the air. Uh, and it was also teleported four blocks in the negative Z direction, just like it had there. So, uh, and then if I go back to TP uh, zero, zero, you can see that the armor stand is not in loaded chunks because if I attempt to teleport to it, equals armor stand limit equals one, it won't find it. All right, let me just go back and quickly kill that armor stand there so it doesn't mess with anything. There we go. It also works with players. So if I set my own score TP, uh, scoreboard players set at S score TV X will do two. I have it shown up here. Then whenever I run function EM score TV, it's going to teleport me two locks in the X direction. That's pretty much all there is to it. To talk a little bit about how this works, um, especially the part with unloaded chunks, that is big thanks to user Uncle Thaldon, who commented on my previous scoreboard video saying how you can update this to work in 1.16. He wrote out a, a trick that you can use where even if an entity is in unloaded chunks, whereas normally you wouldn't be able to find it using a selector, you can find it using at s if it's running in the same function. Uh, the, he also commented a way of storing the scoreboard coordinates into the entity's position tag. So you would directly edit the NBT data of the entity. Uh, but that only works for absolute coordinates, and I couldn't find a way to make it work with relative coordinates. So it ends up working the same way as I did my last scoreboard teleport function. It pretty much does like a binary search to teleport to the position. Um, and yeah, now it's working in 1.16 too. That's pretty much all I have for this video. The download to the data pack is in the description. Uh, just put it in your world and then uh, run EM score TP on whatever entity you want to teleport and set these values. All right, thanks for watching.